Jesus, thank you for the gift of life, and thank you for the gift of Sabbath too. I just want to begin our children's sermon. I pray that you will be with the little children, be with us too. Give us understanding of these treasures hidden deep in the Bible. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. To you, you and you, good morning and happy Sabbath. How are you doing today? We welcome you to today's children's sermon. My name is Gracie, and these two children here with me today are Steve and Eli. Now, children, our theme for this quarter has been... The Redemption of the Faithful. Again? The Redemption of the Faithful. And Gracie, what's our topic for today? Our topic for today is the ministry of Christ in the heavenly sanctuary. Our key text comes from the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14. It says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. Children, do you remember what we learned last Sabbath? Well, Elsie and Subira taught us how the earthly sanctuary came to an end. They taught us that all the lambs that were sacrificed represented Jesus Christ. Very true. Boys and girls, that means that when he died on the cross, he paid the full price for our sin. And for that reason, we no longer needed the sanctuary that was here on earth. Sharp memories you children got. And that brings us to today's study. But... First things first. Uh huh. Ah. Tell, Tell us, Gracie. That means I have questions for you two boys. Still, you are the smaller one. You go first. What did the lamp represent? <sighs> the answer is Jesus Christ. Correct. Now to the older child. The sanctuary on earth. Uh, an altar to look like the sun, uh, to be built like the sanctuary where? Um, mm, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh dear, you don't know, do you? You really have to come back to kindergarten. It was built to look like the sanctuary in heaven. Heaven! That's the word I was looking for. Heaven! <laughs> For the last question, you two can put your heads together. The sanctuary on earth had a high priest. That means the sanctuary in heaven must also have a high priest. Who is the high priest in heaven? Huh. Time, gentlemen, time. Hmm. God, why? Now you too, listen carefully. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4, we have a great high priest who has gone to heaven. His name is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Mm -hmm. I get it, Gracie. You are such a good teacher. Children, second things, second. Think with me. If Jesus is the lamb, and the lamb was sacrificed here on earth. Hey, Eli, do you see I'm going with this? Oh, with such an amazing teacher like Gracie, how can I fail not to see it? If you see it, answer me. Where did Jesus die? On the cross, of course. <laughs> Eli, that's true, but I think the answer Steve is looking for is earth. Jesus died here on earth, not in heaven. Thank you, Gracie. If Jesus is the lamb, the lamb was sacrificed at the outer court, and Jesus sacrificed his life here on earth, where is the outer court of the heavenly sanctuary, Eli? Outer court of the heavenly sanctuary. Hmm, hmm. Let me see, let me see. Outer coat of the... Oh, brother, you really don't see it, do you? Hmm. 
No, she doesn't. I'll help him. It means the outer court of the heavenly sanctuary is the earth. My! Oh, my! That makes a lot of sense. You know why? 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 Because the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12 that when Jesus left the earth and entered heaven, he entered the holy place. So, Jesus leaves the earth, which is the outer court, and then he goes to heaven in the holy place. And guess what? what? Tell us more. Hmm. Do you remember? The priest used to enter the holy place with the blood of the lamb to sprinkle on the veil. Now, because Jesus is the lamb who shed his blood for us, and he is also the high priest, he entered into the holy place with his own blood for us. Not the blood of goats or lambs. Stevie, the young man is smart after all. No, 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 no. Let's not rush that assumption. Let's see how long he can hold it. Mm. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I told you, deadlock. <laughs> Children, when Jesus was in the most holy place, he was interceding for us. Into what? <clears throat> Deadlock. <laughs> it's quite simple. Here, let me explain. Every time you and I do something wrong, the devil says, you see, you see, he does wrong things. He makes mistakes. He is my child. The devil is our accuser. Ah, but when we confess our sins, Jesus goes to his Father in heaven as our defender. He does not excuse our sin. Instead, he shows his hands that have nails, that have holes that are made by the nails and says, See, my Father, I died for them. I give my life for them, and they have confessed their sins. Please, Father, forgive them. And that, Stevie, is interceding. Mm hmm I get it. You too can get it. I remember we were taught that the priest would cleanse the sanctuary once a year. Right? Right. Even little ones can pray to him. Children, you and I don't have to pray th to Jesus through anyone else. Hmm, guys, now that Jesus is still in heaven, is he still in the holy place? Aha, that thing stood. I saw in my vision at night someone like the Son of Man coming with the clouds of heaven. He went to the ancient of days and was given dominion over all the kingdoms of the earth. His kingdom will never be destroyed and all people worshipped him. Gracie, what, what are you talking about? about? Poor little children, did you skip primary B2? It is in the vision of Daniel chapter Daniel, Daniel chapter 7. And, 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 and what does it mean? It means the ancient of days is God. God sits on the mercy seat which is in the most holy place. Aha! That's the most logical thing I have heard today. You mean the same way the high priest used to move from the holy place to the most holy place? Precisely. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I get it. You too can get it. And I remember we were taught that the priest would cleanse the sanctuary once a year. Children, children, don't forget that when Jesus moved from the holy place to the most holy place, he is our high priest. And Jesus is in the most holy place. Here, he is still inter pleading. What? Pleading. I give up. 
Boys and girls, when Jesus was in the most holy place, he was doing more than interceding. Uh -huh. Children, fourth things, fourth. Jesus is also doing the work of judgment. Eli, are we together? Ah, together we are. Walk with me. Remember when the priest took the sins of the children from the sanctuary to Satan? Jesus, being our high priest, is doing the same thing. But, but how? I knew you are not together. Stop bickering, old children. It is like this. Jesus is going through the records of those who have died. If they have truly confessed their sins, their names remain in the book of life. But if not, their names are removed from the book of life. Aha! And finally, when he is done, he will reach the records of those of us who are alive. We will be judged too. Correct. And he will take the sins of all those who are faithful and put them on their real honor. Satan. And you know the most amazing thing? He will come back and take us home to be with him. Isn't that just amazing? That, Gracie, is very amazing. Can you imagine, children, our judge is also the person who died for us? And that means we can come boldly to the throne of grace and ask for forgiveness, and we will be forgiven. Children, we could go on and on, but today we have learned that, one, Jesus is still interceding for us. Stevie, what else did we learn? Two, Jesus is also doing the work of judging everyone. Eli, what's our last lesson? Our last lesson for today is our judge is also our defender. That means we can come boldly to the throne of grace and ask for forgiveness and we will be forgiven. That reminds me of a song, guys. children of the world and help coronavirus to go away because I really miss my friends in church. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming today. Join us again next Sabbath as we study the Day, Day of, of Atonement. Atonement. For now, bye! bye.